Hey, Laurie, how are you doing? You're outside today. Hi, Pastor Meredith. It is a gorgeous day. I'm I'm just out here kind of in, enjoying the weather and some some these snap peas. Yeah, they're healthy for you. That's wonderful. It is an absolutely beautiful day. I had just finished having my lunch outside today too. And it's time for Celebrate Wonder here with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Of course, I'm Reverend Meredith Brown, our lead pastor. And I have Miss Laurie here, who is our director of children and youth ministries. And it is week 13 of our current session. We can hardly believe it. So we're really excited that you all are here with us. But I noticed that Laud is not here. Where's Laurie? Where's Laud? He's back here in a tree. Um, I've been telling him to get down and he's not coming down. He's so, in, the, he's in the tree. He's a lamb. Oh, he's in the tree. He's trying to see something. I don't know. Do we need to go see about him? him? Okay. Here, come with me. Watch out. Here we go. Here we go. It's hard to see when you, when you walk like this, right? What? Oh my gosh. It's a lamb in a tree. See, can you see? Oh, yep, there he is. There he is. He's on a tree. Oh, Laud, you, you, you got to come down from the tree, dude, so we can do our celebrate wonder today. You want to come down? Huh. Huh. Well, he thinks that this will help us tell the story today. Well, he might be right. He's a pretty smart lamb. I mean, you know, That's for a lamb. Lamb go. I mean, I got to say, he's really <laughs> smart. Here, hold on. I'm. I, it's not going to be popular, but I'm going to get him out of the tree. Okay. All right. Well, I know it won't be popular, but why don't you get him out of the tree and let's meet back at our wonder tables in a few minutes? How's that sound? Okay. Perfect. See you okay. Just <laughs> See you there. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. And we're back at our wonder table. Laud is out of the tree. He's not happy. You need to just snap out of it, okay? We are fine. It's all good. You'll get the idea. Okay. We're glad you're. We're glad you're here, Laud. He's he's gonna work with us now. So, so anyway, like we said it's week thirteen, and our word is guide. Yes. Pastor Meredith has hers too. I helped you guide Laud out of the tree. Yeah. Yeah. And I agree with Laud that what he was doing was a really good idea. And we'll tell you in just a second. But first, I think we need to light our candle. Now, Pastor Meredith is going to light hers. I am not because there is no way it's going to stay lit out here today. It's a little windy, but I love it outside right now. Yeah. So we're just pretending on our end. That's okay. Pretending is good. Yeah. Well, and we're, I, Laud, I'm so glad that you were up in that tree today because you're right. That does help us with our Bible story for today. It is about a man and a tree and a group of people and a parade and Jesus. So thank you, Laud, for helping us. So we hope that everybody out there will read their Bible story today from Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through 10. What were you thinking, Laud? Um, dinner. It also included dinner. Oh, so, yeah. Good point. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Laud. We need, we need to remember that part. So anyway, households, get together with your, with your family, with your folks there at home. Read the Bible story. Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through 10. And this is one of our favorite stories, of course. It's often called the story of Zacchaeus. Now, we learn about Zacchaeus, who was a tax collector. He wasn't very well liked by any of the people because in that day and time, particularly tax collectors often cheated people out of their money. It was how they could get paid. And so they charged people lots of money and they collected money from them. And um, sometimes they lied and it just wasn't very good. Zacchaeus was not well liked in his community, but Jesus was coming and there were whole crowds of people coming to see him. So Zacchaeus, who apparently was, was a little shorter, couldn't see what was going on. So you know what he did? He did what Laud did. He climbed up in a tree so that he could could see that Jesus was coming by. He wanted to be able to see Jesus. And when Jesus got to him, Jesus looked up in the tree and said, Zacchaeus, you come down from that tree because I'm going to come have dinner at your house tonight. And Jesus did. But you know, the people around, 
they weren't really very excited about it. They grumbled and they were like, well, why is Jesus going to go have dinner with that guy, Zacchaeus? He lies and cheats and he's a tax collector. But we hear as we go on in the story that Zacchaeus, he seeks forgiveness. He says he's sorry for the things he's done wrong. He's going to repay all his debts. And it's a wonderful story about change and about forgiveness and about Jesus's love for everybody. It's one of my favorites. I love it. So why don't we look? It's a good one. Should we uh, look at a question? Now, why did, just wonder, why did Zacchaeus climb up that tree? Well, I mean, I think he wanted to see, you know, and, and I'm also somebody that's a little bit vertically challenged. Mm. And um, sometimes it's just hard to see. And maybe he wanted to learn more about Jesus. Maybe he was already feeling a little bad about things he was doing. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. How do you think it felt when Jesus said, Zacchaeus, I want you to come down from that tree and I'm going to come have dinner at your house. I think I would have been so surprised, mm-hmm. just like Laud, yeah. and excited and maybe a little bit scared because I this person was a little bit nervous. Nervous. You know, kind of like when you're called to the principal's office, maybe. Or your mom uses your middle name. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might have been a little worried. Can you imagine what Zacchaeus must have felt like when Jesus forgave him? Amazing. Relieved. Mm -hmm. Excited. Yeah. 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 I agree. Amazed, excited, happy. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, and I think hopeful too, that, you know, he turned a corner and was going to live his life in a different kind of way. And so, and that forgiveness of Jesus helped him and probably hoping that he'd be able to make friends in his community and be forgiven by them too. I think so. Yeah. Well, we hope that you guys will use your, uh, your activity kit and use the wonder questions that are in there. And if you want to use your wonder cube, you can roll those and ask some wonder questions, but maybe we should watch our video. What do you think, Miss Laurie? Oh, I think so. Maude, you ready to watch the video? He loves the video. Oh, I do too. Okay, let's watch our Bible story video. Hey friends, it's Samuel. Have you ever been in a situation that felt unfair to you? In this story, the crowd of people definitely thought what was happening was unfair. Oh wait! Let me rewind and tell you the story. Jesus is walking into Jericho, where there is a crowd of people to meet him. Zacchaeus, a tax collector, climbs up in a tree to see Jesus over the crowd. Tax collectors were not popular in those days. They were known for being unfair, cheating people out of their money, and making the lives of people really hard. As Jesus walks through the crowd, he stops at the most unexpected person, Zacchaeus. I wonder if the crowd thinks Jesus is going to be mad at Zacchaeus or yell at him. Instead, Jesus tells Zacchaeus to come down because he's going to stay at his house that day. Huh? He chose Zacchaeus? The crowd was not happy. How could Jesus stay with someone who had done wrong? Zacchaeus is so excited to welcome Jesus and he promises to be fair. Jesus never mentioned the bad things Zacchaeus did but Jesus helps Zacchaeus change by being kind and loving. Jesus shows us how to give people second chances, even when we don't know if they deserve them. Sometimes people just need a chance to be better. Last year, I started a new school and didn't know anybody. I hated being the new kid, and I didn't know how to make friends. Instead of trying, I was really grumpy. I didn't talk to anyone. One day, One of the kids in my class invited me to go to the park. I was so surprised. I knew I had not been nice because I was upset about being at a new school and not knowing anybody. When I went to the park, I made a lot of new friends. After that, I wasn't grumpy or alone anymore. I was so grateful that they invited me and gave me a chance. The people around Zacchaeus that day thought it was unfair that Jesus would choose him over them. Jesus saw past his mistakes 
and he knew he could be better. Jesus was right. Zacchaeus changed. Instead of assuming people won't change, let's remember that Jesus guides us to give everyone a chance. Now, it's time for you to wonder. Hello everybody, it's time for our craft or activity portion. And you probably noticed there's icing. We're gonna make a treat. So you're just gonna open up your icing and take out your sugar cone and ice your sugar cone. Now I'm not gonna take the time to ice the whole thing. Do you have enough icing in here to ice the whole thing? And then you'll, I'm gonna do one side so you can see. And it's okay to get a little messy and maybe eat some of the icing. We're kind of going to make the kias in a tree. So we have our sugar cone. You can put it on top of your cup. And, oh, and I bet, actually, if we add a little icing there, it'll stick better. Yep. So we've got our icing on the cup. And you also have gummy bears. I know they're not Zacchaeus, but oh, and just so you know, my dog, the boxer, loves sugar cones, and here she is. And then you just put your gummy bears on the tree, just like Zacchaeus was. Just like that. You can even see how many gummy bears you can get on your tree before you eat them or you can just look at them. But it wouldn't last very long in my house, I can tell you that. Right, Laud? Mm -hmm. So there is your fun and edible Zacchaeus in a tree craft. Bye guys, have fun. Okay, adults, it's time for our spiritual practice for this week. And our focus for this week, and that I hope you will really take some time to do this, is to focus on forgiveness. Is there someone that you need to forgive? Is there somebody in your life that you're holding a grudge against or you're holding anger against? Because if there's anything that we've learned from our Bible story this week that we can just learn from Jesus all the time is that forgiveness is so healing and so cleansing for our souls. And it's such a gift that we can give ourselves as well as give to others. But really, first of all, it's a gift we can give to ourselves. So I encourage you this week to do that assessment is there a grudge that you're holding on to? Is there somebody that you're really angry at? And then take a deep breath and start that process of forgiveness. To letting go of that anger. Don't let it consume you. Don't let that grudge consume you. You know, if you're ready to take that next step and make that phone call or write that note, you know, of forgiveness, go for it. But I just encourage you to take that first step. You can say a small prayer like, loving God, help me forgive, blah. Uh, dear God, Help me with forgiveness. Dear God, take away this anger. Whatever it is you need to do. But let's focus on forgiveness and getting started with that this week. Love you all. See you again soon. Okay. I am so glad you joined us for our week 13 of Celebrate Wonder. And oh, the difference 13 weeks makes, Pastor Meredith. It's beautiful outside. We're back outside. It's amazing. It is amazing. Yes. So we want to encourage everybody to use their celebration chart. It's our last week with the one we've been using since, oh, I think we started right around Christmas time. So, wow, that is what a difference 13 weeks makes. So finish that up this week. And then remember to come join us this Sunday, March 14th from 1 to 3 p.m. in the parking lot of Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church to get your new Celebrate Wonder kit. We're so excited for the spring. Yay! So come see us this Sunday, 1 to 3 p.m. Good? I'm good. All right. Well, to finish up today, we've been talking about forgiveness. Oh, and how good forgiveness feels. We know that for sure. So for our special ending practice uh, together, we're going to share a smile because you know what? Sharing a smile feels really good, just like forgiveness, doesn't it? Okay. So you ready? I'm going to smile, share a smile with you, Miss Laurie and Laud. You ready? Here we go. 
and we're going to share a smile back to you. Okay, everybody out there, share a smile with us. <laughs> oh, that does feel good. I think when you do a smile, it makes everybody want to smile. Let's do it again. You ready? Big grins. And we encourage you to share smiles with people this week as a way to remember you are forgiven and loved and you can share that forgiveness with others. It sounds good, doesn't it? It does. All right. Well, everybody have a great week. We love you. We can't wait to see you back next Wednesday with our new kit and all of those things. And as always, if you have any questions, call us in the church office. Uh, we love you and we can't wait to see you on Sunday from one to three. So, oh yeah, remember singing. We're singing next. Oh, Follow yes. as we go. Last week on this song. Make Second favorite part. Oh, wonderful. Okay, everybody stick around for our song. We'll see you next week.